Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Ned. Welcome back to another episode of the Discord.js coding tutorial series. Today we're going to be doing the await messages function, and we're going to be using that with the Fortnite command. Um, and just so you can see um, how everything works, uh, let's do some node index.js. So you can see over here I have two Fortnite commands. This is going to be the uh, normal one, which just does the uh, all-in-one like line command. And then this is going to be the one that has await messages. So I'm just going to show you how they both work. So the normal one is just Fortnite Ninja, and you type in the name afterwards. But if you want to do the other way, you can do FT. Well, the way that's the command name, um, and then you have to choose a username, and it'll expire in 10 seconds. So I can say Ninja, and it'll show me Ninja stats. Perfect. Um, so we want it set up like that. That's pretty cool and neat and different. You don't have to use it for Fortnite command. You can use it for literally anything. Um, I'm just showing you how to use it. So I'm going to make a little bit more space up here. Uh, make sure everything's beautified. Cool. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is we need to create a filter. Uh, the function is going to take a few things. It's going to take a filter. It's going to take a, um, a uh, some options. And then we're going to do a callback. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, const filter equals m arrow function m dot. Uh, let's see, author.id, there we go. It's equal to message.author.id. And the reason we're doing this is because we're going to filter all the messages the that don't have, that the person that's sending that message is not the original command sender. Um, we want to get the person that sent the command. We want to get their message, their next message. Um, so, yeah. Let's go ahead and create a actual message.reply. Oops. And this is going to be for, as you saw, um, please choose the username. And then we can do cancel, and it cancels. So just keep that in mind. Um, this is what we want. And then we're going to call it r. And we're going to arrow function r dot delete. And let's do that in 10 seconds. Just keep it nice and clean. Um, now let's go ahead and actually create the, um, the function, the message await function. So message dot channel dot await messages. And it's going to take that filter, like I said, and then we're going to have some options here. So the first one is going to be max one and then time 10,000, 10,000. Cause it's doing milliseconds, of course. So 10 seconds. And then we're going to take a max of one message. Then. We're going to call it collected and then, and now we just need to move this down a little bit as in all the way to the bottom. And let's go ahead and add a catch error on this. And for now, we're just going to console.log error. All right, cool. So I'm going to beautify that again. Um, if you want to see the, uh, all the stuff I use for uh, VS code, let me know in the comments below and I will make a video specifically for that but for now just look up beautify all right so we're pretty close to being done actually um, the only thing we really need to do is check if the message is canceled like we did before so if it's canceled we're just gonna cancel it and send a message or a reply called canceled so um, we need to use collected for that um, the way I'm gonna do this is if collected dot content actually dot first dot content is equal to canceled we're going to return message dot reply canceled it's that easy all right so now really the only thing left to do is to replace arc zero with this and then we're actually going to do a little bit more error handling here in a little bit. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and restart the bot. And let's see what's our command again. 
is it Fortnite FRT? Please choose a username. It'll expire. Let's try cancel. Cancel. And then FRT. Please use the username, Ninja. And there's his stats. Um, let's try something like this. As you can see, the error handled well like that. Um, couldn't find the username, all good. And then let's just let the time run out. All right, let's take a look what happened. Cannot read property of content. Let's see, did that happen? Did that happen because we didn't type anything and it would try to go through it anyways? And that's just this error actually. So we can actually get rid of that. Um, and let's just message dot reply. Uh, let's say time has expired. And then, then reply r dot delete for five seconds. Just to keep it nice and tidy. Actually, I'm gonna clear it, then start the server. Or not server. Um, bot. That's what we're working on. Let's watch. It's always nice to console log your errors, but if you don't need to because you know it, what's going on, then it's not really all that important. Hopefully, no one crucifies me for saying that. Um, but yeah. Oh, I think we missed a message, but yeah. Let's try that one more time. There it is. Time has expired, so we're all good. We have a working await messages function. And yeah, that's going to be it for today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and leave that like, comment, tell me what you want to see in the future. And if you have any questions, join our Discord. The code will be on GitHub, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.